early in your career, combined for 42 wins, first couple seasons in, in Houston. Um, but I know that's different from you. You've been successful over in Turkey. You know what winning is like. You've won huge accolades. Um, now you're in a new city, new culture, uh, new league. Um, talk to us about on the basketball side. Going through that first couple years in Houston, you guys weren't successful, weren't winning. Tough times. Um, talk to us a little bit about that. Like you said, I was winning all the time in Turkey, you know. But uh, and in Europe is much more different uh, because if you're losing, everyone is sad, like no one having fun, you know, mm -hmm. like you can't even talk in the bus, you know what I'm saying? Because it looks bad to coaches eyes, you know. Mm -hmm. But when I came here, like first weeks, you know, I wasn't having fun. I'm so sad, like. But I'm see everyone is having fun, you know, like <laughs> because they saying like they saying we have game again two days later. If you like thinking this, you're not gonna play good another game. Just uh, live it, live it, you know. But <laughs> first weeks, like first week, a few weeks, I was like in a really bad mood all the time. But after some point, you know, mm -hmm. I said like I would need to act like everybody, how everybody act like, you know. Mm -hmm. And then I changed my dad uh, feelings actually. And then, you know, we, like you say, we're losing a lot, actually, you yeah. know. And these things, like losing and winning, after some point, it's getting used to it, you know. Right. Like, another game you're going to, you're saying, like, we're going to lose again. Right. It's putting you that mental, you know. So it was, which is was bad for us. And, but now it's, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of things change, mm -hmm. team change. Like, uh, I can tell, like, right now it's like, we are more mental, uh, like more winning mental, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Now, right now, like I said, first two years I was losing, but I was having fun. But now still that my old feelings come back, you know, like we're losing and I'm like uh, bad that night. I mm -hmm. don't want to do anything mm -hmm. like, you know, I just, I'm just thinking about a game. Mm -hmm. But still like, you know, I think it's great to be back that feelings and just winning mental you know, and give your everything in the court and it's working. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, we're doing great right now. Yeah. As, a team. Long as you're not bored, you good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I mean, bored, you know, it's a problem. <laughs> the expectation is to win at this point, right? Yeah, so like sure. you do go back to those feelings of like, all right, yeah, y'all, it's great. One game lost. We know what we got. We we we've been winning. Like let's turn this around. Let's get back on track. Yes. I I know exactly like, you know, we were struggling to get a win, you know, this past week or a week and a half we know well this is awkward yeah no, i mean but I, I you can you can speak on that like knowing what that feeling is like you know when yeah it's you know, bro winning, we, we like, win six in a row it was so much fun you know everyone having fun <laughs> yeah. like happy in practice you know but first two years you are coming to practice you are sad we had still yeah, energy we were so day. young <laughs> but now it's much more different you know like everybody's happy like we are like winning team right now, you know, mm -hmm. and everyone wants to win. That's the big point. Everyone is helping each other, you know, mm -hmm. and like it's we having fun, like feel good, you know, mm -hmm. like I never feel that way since I came here. Now it's just great for me and yeah. for teammates, you know. Talk a little bit about like your English, because just talking with you, you're good. Like we we understand you and all that. But when you when you get to Houston, you know, the Rockets maybe had a little concern. You're young, you don't know English. What have you been doing to learn English and what kind of uh, communication did you have with your teammates when you first got there? Okay, I'm gonna tell, like, you know, everyone is American in the team. Right. And like, you guys talking so fast, you know, it's like <laughs> hard to understand, bro. Yeah. Like, you know, and we didn't have that much European player in our team, you know, first two years, Boban was, on the team, but Boban English is not, not perfect. Either, yeah. also. <laughs> You're gonna kill me if you see this. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you, Who's better at English, Boban or so far? I'll, you know, uh, I would say Bobby's probably a little. Yeah, Bobby. Bobby, Bobby, really? Of Bobby's got you. You're in the league nine years. Yeah, you know, you be still it's like talking better. shit about that. Like <laughs> he's talking shit about me. I'm talking faster. shit about him. <laughs> yeah, my English, like I was really bad. First six months, I was like talking. I was I wasn't talking that much, you know, and I came with somebody else from I bring somebody from Turkey, which is his English wasn't perfect too, mm -hmm. but he let he lived before in Europe 
and other things. And he's in my agent uh, company. Mm -hmm. And then he was living with me. But that's a like have, have some good points and bad points because like you can be lazy because I was telling him, tell this, tell this, mm -hmm. tell this. I was being lazy, you know, in the first six months. Mm -hmm. And good things, he was helping me about everything, you know. But uh, maybe I was learning quick, quicker uh, if I was by myself, mm -hmm. you know. I still learn, you know. Yeah. And then I found out uh, some girl, like st she's my, still my girlfriend, like in almost two years. Okay, okay. So, Okay, you got him a little H town. Okay, thing. okay, okay. okay. How, how does she feel about it's the like whole basketball thing? Is that you know she? She doesn't know she anything jealous. about basketball. Oh, okay. <laughs> like okay. she doesn't know. She doesn't know anything about sport. Actually, he was he was asking you about what she jealous with you having making love with the basketball. <laughs> That's what he was asking. Yeah, she always in my ass every after pre <laughs> after the game. <laughs> she's saying she's on what you told the ball this time. Like <laughs> you know. Yeah. So how long did it take until you finally grasped like? Okay, now I'm starting to understand like this other language. I can't tell this year actually. Up like, until this year? Yeah, even last year I was like do all that things with my that Turkish guy, you know, mm -hmm. all post game interviews and other things. But now I can tell I do everything literally by mm -hmm. myself. And your teammates teaching you some some stuff? They they did before, yeah. but right now Josh Christopher was uh <laughs> teaching me a lot of things and he he knows a lot of like shitty words and other shit. You know? like, <laughs> even you can't you can't <laughs> hear anywhere. But he was talking all yeah. the time. You know, <laughs> yeah. Jalen, I can say Jalen, teach me a lot of stuff too. Yeah, and uh, yeah. But this is not what a good, good word. What words Jalen teach you? <laughs> I don't know. Like I can't tell right now. But like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Be careful. Yeah, 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 yeah careful. a lot of things. It is. Have you ever took up another language? Nah. No, I wish I knew Spanish. I yeah. want to do it for acting. I did Spanish four years of, of school. And you don't know Paquito. It's little. <laughs> <laughs> My wife's Serbian, and so. Oh, really? Yeah, she's Serbian. So when I went back to Serbia, um, you know, I didn't understand anything they were saying. Right. So when we got back this summer, uh, she got me in touch with uh, a tutor. And so for the past, like, I don't know, couple months I've been I've been picking up on the language uh the Serbian language and then I downloaded this app called Ling and uh was, oh, yeah. was learning how to how to you know my a few words here my and there on Ling. same thing yeah she's trying to learn Turkish yeah we had Jalen Green here uh yeah, last season um and we was talking about his welcome to the NBA moments and one of his moments was matched up against Joel and B yeah and he said it was just you know he punished me I could, it was nothing he could do Garden, uh, go, Joel. What was your NBA like rookie welcome into the NBA moment? Uh, I can say after direct, after direct, I drafted before the summer league, and uh, you know we were working out with the team uh, for getting ready for summer league, and KJ dunk on me in the practice. KJ yeah, Martin, yeah, yeah, he dunk on me in the practice. You know I used to get like every shot in Turkey, like I was a like block leader and, and other things and. Uh, Turkey, which is the surprise, for, you know, for you guys. <laughs> and yeah, I give him space. I I wasn't knowing him, yeah. you know. I didn't know who the KJ are before yeah. I came NBA. Uh, and I give him space to, um, and I can jump with him in the same time, you know. And uh, he go the <laughs> fucking too fast left right and go with the left, you know. And then I was a little late, and then he dunk on me. But I didn't even see he dunk on me or not. I just felt, and then I said, <laughs> I, "It was my Turkish uh, guy over there." I said, "They don't did he dunk on me?" And then he said, "Yes." <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone was telling me, "Oh yeah, welcome to the NBA." Yeah, welcome to the NBA. It, was that an adjustment, like the the athleticism, like from being in Turkey or Turkey, and then coming to the NBA? Was that like just a a, a wow, like? It's, it's I was in Turkey. So I was really athletic guy. Like, yeah. you know, because we have a lot of American players over there too, but not like here. Mm -hmm. Now when I'm came when I when I came here, like, you know, you're not you can't say anymore you're an athletic guy, you right, know. Right. And all that people's but uh I still got some dunks, some games, you know. I like if I catch somebody in the uh in the under the rim, I still can dunk some. But <laughs> I ain't got no moments, do y'all? 
Huh? Uh-uh. Y'all got any moments? Uh-uh. No, not uh-uh. him. No. Nah. No. Someone was getting dunked on yesterday, though. <laughs> he he, he, he had some posters. Yeah, yesterday. I felt bad for him, bro. It's his first game. It's like, oh my gosh. But he took it like a champ. He took it on the chin. Yeah. And kept, 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 kept moving. He, on. uh, he, that, that spin fucking move, that, <laughs> it's quick. Yeah. It's quick. <laughs> I'm like, God. Like, the first time you did, and I'm usually good picking up on moves. So after you hit me the first time, I'm like, all right, I'm expecting. No, I knew it. You you think I'm gonna go baseline because you all guys know. Yeah. When I get the ball, James Harden calling baseline, 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 like you know, <laughs> and then like I knew it. You're gonna close the baseline. Yeah. And uh, when I feel you behind me, I said, let me do this. Yeah. And uh, I got you, but. Like I got and, uh, crossed on the shimmy. Like, yeah. The, that, and I fouled you too. Yes. They didn't you call fouled me. Big, I fouled it was a big foul. <laughs> it was like an embarrassing like. I seen, like, you, get, I seen oh. you get mad too. They didn't call shit. They man. didn't call. I'm yeah, surprised. Yeah, of, I was very surprised <laughs> they didn't call shit. But yeah. after, yeah, you hit me that first time. I like, I jumped hard left. Like, cause I thought he was really going baseline. <laughs> and then the second time I'm like, all right. And it he was on the, the opposite baseline. side. So I'm like, all right, I'm expecting it this time. Yeah. <laughs> hit me with it again. Like, I hit it, yeah, but. Then I was like questioning myself, <laughs> like, how fast is he? Like, yeah, it was like, like awkward it was quickness. You know, like, you know what is the funniest? When I was like in Turkey, you know, that was like almost always my signature move. And we were in the practice one time. Uh, one, of our, one, one of my teammates, we were like playing one-on-one, miswitch one-on-one. And then I was playing and I spin baseline so quick. And then he said, I was always seeing this, how you're doing it. But like I was saying, no, he can do it to me, he can do it to me. Like, and then he said, when you did that to me, it was motherfucking fast. <laughs> like, <you know? laughs> Look, the NBA season is here and Prize Picks has got you guys covered when it comes to making some money. Prize Picks is a daily fantasy app where you can select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and turn $25 into $250. Prize Picks is really simple to play. I can make my picks and submit my entry in less than 60 seconds. So make sure you guys go visit prizepicks.com slash podcast P and use our promo code Podcast P for a first deposit match up to $100. What that mean? Cha-ching! 